In most cases, reversing a transaction, which is usually referred to as voiding out a sale or issuing a refund, are handled through one of two applications on the Clover Station. The first way to refund a transaction uses the Orders application. Start by touching the Orders icon on your home screen. Here, you will see a listing of all your transactions. You can locate a specific transaction to refund by scrolling through all of the transactions or using the search bar at the top to pull up transactions by customer name, phone number, or order ID found at the bottom of the receipt. You can also pull up an order by pressing the barcode button in the bottom left corner and scanning the receipt with a barcode scanner, like this. Once you find the transaction you would like to refund, click on the line item. Here you will see the details of the transaction, such as the purchase date, employee who processed the transaction, customer information, and the items or services purchased. Select the exchange refund items near the middle of the screen to begin the refund process. This will take you to a page with a line for each of the items purchased in the transaction. Select the item or items you would like to refund by tapping on them so that they turn green and show a check mark in the box to the far right and then select refund in the bottom right corner. Clover will ask how you would like to deliver the refund. Refunds can only be delivered in the same tender type used to purchase the items. Or if you have the gift card app, refunds may be applied to a gift card for future purchases. Select the desired method of delivery and Clover will process the refund and update the order report to reflect the refund transaction. The second way to process a refund is to do a blind refund that is not attached to an order. To process this type of refund, select the Manual Transaction app on the home screen. Type in the refund amount and select the refund button on the bottom left. Clover will ask if you are certain you would like to do a manual refund. Select OK. This will take you to a register where you can use the buttons on the right hand side of the screen to determine the tender type in which you want the refund to be delivered. Issue the refund and select Done. You are now ready to process your next transaction. If you are looking for a way to increase your business's profitability, consider issuing refunds to gift cards. This method not only keeps money in your business, it ensures that customers keep coming back. Check out the gift card application available in the Clover app market, such as GIF, to determine the best option for your business.